If you were to combine the movies Blade Runner and an episode of Maxwell Smart. Welcome to China. Where all five senses are immediately bombarded with the incomprehensible scale of everything. The size of the population. The ancient culture combined with modern technology. Then there's the architecture, the prolific development, the brain spraining logistics of moving so many millions of people. Here amid the chaos, an unbelievable spectacle of Shanghai is the World Expo 2010. Easily the largest expo ever held in history. And this is where the Sydney Conservatorium of Music's Jazz Big Band and the Modern Music Ensemble have been asked to perform each day in the Australian Pavilion and the World Project's main stage. sweltering heat and manic itinerary. These gifted musicians have maintained their cool. Just to get your head around the scale and dimensions, the bus parking stations are as big as a Sydney suburb and there are at least five of them. Each day the queues to get into Expo are three to six hours long with x-rays and body searches for each one of the half million people entering the Expo each day. The queues to some of the pavilions take anywhere from three to six hours. And to their credit, the locals are happily doing this on these little $2 chairs. Not only are the jazz big band and the modern music ensemble playing to packed houses at the Shanghai Expo, the big band has been invited to perform in a small town called Suzhou with a tiny population of 5.5 million. This is an historic moment for the Jazz Big Band. For the first time, they've performed and toured outside of the conservatorium. Here in China, the Jazz Big Band is proving to be a draw card. Not only with the Jazz Curious Chinese, but with the local girls as well. Who would have thought a drum solo could get a screaming ovation? The sax quartet has also found difficulty stepping out to meet the people. quality of the band is extraordinary and actually the being together on the road for the last six days doing you know, three and four gigs a day. Uh, we took away a talented group of kids who play together once a week for three hours and the product is always good. 
But now, when they're playing, the subtleties and the, the nuances and the things that really separate a student band from a professional band are pretty well non-existent. This is our flagship ensemble. The jazz, the jazz big band is, is our flagship. Bill is not one to give praise easily to anybody, in fact, you know. He's actually saying that this is the best band we've ever had, which is saying something, because we've had some good ones. I think this first foray out into the wide world has been, yeah, very important for the development of jazz uh, at the conservatory. Now, we, we run a highly successful program. I mean, I think we're uniquely poised to, to create something out of, out of situations like the one that we're involved in now. There has never been a jazz band perform this auditorium, uh, to the best of our knowledge. And for that matter, I doubt very much if most of the audience will have ever seen a band like this either. I mean, it's kind of, it should be sort of billed as Godzilla <laughs> on steroids. <laughs> Grand Theatre of Suzhou Science and Cultural Arts Centre. We would like to remind you, if you have any questions, our ushers will be glad to assist you. Thank you for your cooperation. We wish you enjoy the performance. There will be some people, I think, who will be immensely surprised. And yes, it's something that is new here. And something that's new too is something that's obviously going to make people sit up and take notice. It's definitely a society that is, that is driven by a desire to embrace different and new things. They work their asses off, they did it with immense dignity and immense grace. They brought nothing but credit to the Conservatorium in every respect. They're a fine and I mean fine with a capital F. They are a fine group of young men and women. They are incredible musical ambassadors for Australia. There's no doubt about it. In this rapidly emerging economic power, in a land of contradictions, with such ancient cultural values, where jazz big bands and modern music ensembles are so rare if non-existent, the Conservatorium of Music has hit the ground running and touched the ears and the hearts of the enthusiastic Chinese thirst for new sound. In the words of a very wise and talented man. It's jazz in China. I haven't heard any Chinese jazz, but, I, but the Chinese have heard our jazz. And I think to a great extent they really enjoyed hearing it because the band is excellent, the music is excellent, and uh, it's fascinating being here. 1.5 billion people can't be wrong. 